What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. I got a new video for you guys today. I'm gonna to be doing a party mix. This stuff is real good. I got turned on by this by some guys at work that used to bring this, but I don't think they're gonna do it like me. So I'm gonna spice it up, it's gonna be good. Stay tuned. All right, let's get this thing mixed up. So I got my bags open and I don't really have a measurement for this stuff, guys. I just put in what I want more of and what I want less of. So what we do, I got some of this. Gardettos, I think that's how you say it. It's a family size. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start with this off. It's got some pretzels in it. It's got some other little things in it. Get that whole bag poured in there, right there. Get that all mixed up, right there. And then, I want to pour probably my other bag in here. And that's going to give you about that much. So I got two of these bags, they're about 14 ounces bags. Just throw that over there. And then of course, you want some checks mix. So I want to throw some in here. And like I said, I'm just putting whatever I feel like I want more of. Get that all in there. We'll get this all mixed up, don't worry. And then I got the, of course, hot and spicy cheeses. These stuff are the bomb. Pour that all up in there. Uh-oh, it wants to go all in there. It says, don't play with me. Pour me in there. Get all that in there. Get you a whole box of this in there. That's about 12 ounces, 12 and a half ounces. Of course, my favorite, Bugles. Now, if you want to do all the flavored bugles, you, I don't care, but I'm going to throw some seasoning on this. And I think we're going to be just fine. I'm going to throw that in there. Let me see how much I want in here. That's probably about good right there. Let's see. And then, of course, some dry roasted peanuts. This got a little salt on it. And I probably won't use this whole bottle. Or maybe I will. <laughs> so once you got that in there, I kind of just... You know, get that mixed up. I'll show you how this is gonna look. And you can use your hands. My hands are clean. Make sure that's important. Make sure your hands are clean at all times. Get it all mixed up. Might make a little mess. It's all right. But we'll continue mixing this once we're outside. Just like that. So another thing I have. Okay, eat cheese it. I got my little season mixed up, and what I did was took a little bit of about hmm, eight tablespoons of butter, I took about three teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce, and uh, a little bit of about a tablespoon of bacon grease, and then I took some of that barbecue rub right there, that Holy Voodoo and that Honey Hog Hot by Meat Church, and I'm gonna just pour this all on here, all right? Get it all on there. Okay. Put probably a little more seasoning on it. And that little dark stuff right there, that's from basically the butter and stuff in the skillet and the seasonings. <laughs> All right, so we're going to have to step back because you know what? I noticed that is not enough butter. I want it a little more saturated a little bit. I don't want it soggy, but I want it saturated. And I want some of the seeds, even though I can taste a little bit, but we're just going to add more because we want to. So if you're doing this much, guys, I would say about two sticks of butter and about four tablespoons to five tablespoons of bacon grease. So we're going to go on here, just pour it on there, get it all mixed up in the middle. Get that butter in there. Kind of go throughout here. You want it to go deep in there. Even though we're gonna keep mixing it as we smoke, it's gonna eventually cover it. Get that in there. Okay. Now, most of this should coat. 
You want to do this without trying to break all the pieces. There you go. Now you see that butter? That's a little, that's a lot better. Courtesy of the wife, she told me, Bruce, that don't look like enough butter. And you know what? There's nothing wrong with adding more butter and bacon grease. So usually when people make this, I see they use maybe like a half pan and they use this one stick. But like I said, I got this from somebody at work and we're going to do it how we want to. Um, get that all mixed up real good. Get those peanuts covered right there. I think that's looking way better. All right, then once we get this, I think I'm gonna add just a little more seasoning on here. And I think what I'm gonna go for, I don't want it too, too spicy, but I'm gonna add the holy voodoo. Get that on there. Real good, add a little more. And that's it. We'll take this outside and now we'll put this on the smoker. Let's go ahead and get this snack mix on the smoker. We're gonna go ahead and get, put it in the middle of both of those coals that were lit, just like that. And that's all you gotta do. Get your lid back on. I'm gonna try to maintain temperature at about 250. And you can see it's almost already coming up right there. And then come out here and we'll stir it every 15 minutes. And then we'll get it off. All right, guys, look, it. it's all done. You can see some of it being toasted throughout here. Use some of that cherry wood over about 250. Indirect heat. Use some of this meat church honey hog today. Use some of this holy voodoo cherry wood. And it's ready for your next big party or get together a game day, whatever you want to do. And all you got to do, grab a couple out here. Like I said, I like the bugles and, and uh, cheeses. Mm. Uh oh. <laughs> Ain't nothing like pairing it with a good beer. We got some of this shiner right here. You got a good pop. And you're all set. You're ready for game day. Hope you like the video. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. And hit that notification button, that bell. And stay tuned for more toothpicks. Mmm, that is so good.